Protesters in Tunis confronted security forces, daring them to fire their weapons. Reports from Tunis say the demonstrators also pleaded with troops to side with the people and their demand that the ruling Democratic Constitutional Rally Party, known as RCD, be excluded from governing. All that we ask to those sons of Tunisia is to start again, to leave the RCD. We will create new parties and we need time for that. Early Monday, security forces used water cannon, tear gas and live ammunition, firing shots in the air as demonstrators took to the streets. About a thousand people gathered in the capital's main boulevard in a demonstration against the ruling party. As demonstrations continued, Prime Minister Mohammed Ghanouchi announced a national unity government formed largely with the ruling party, but also with some opposition leaders. Presidential elections are to be held in 60 days with international observers. <laughs> President Ben Ali fled to Saudi Arabia Friday after weeks of violent protests, but the new protests suggest that will not be enough. Eric Goldstein, a Tunisia expert at Human Rights Watch, hopes Tunisia's leaders will take what he calls the right lessons from recent events. Now you have a prime minister who stepped up, um, who has always been in the shadow of the president. Um, he needs to uh, make credible uh, promises, set a scene for change that Tunisians can feel immediately if the situation is to stabilize. But I think Tunisians need to feel that they're heading toward free elections quickly. Mr. Ben Ali's ouster sent shockwaves through the Arab world, wherein many countries, autocratic leaders preside over repressive governments. Goldstein says events in Tunisia were fueled by an absence of strong democratic institutions, a problem echoed in many Arab countries. The opposition has no avenues to protest peacefully, no political competition among uh, uh, different parties, and uh, you know, sooner or later things blow because people don't want just bread, but they also want to be able to express themselves and to hold their governments accountable. On Monday, an Egyptian man set himself on fire near the parliament building in Cairo. Officials suspect this was a protest against widespread poverty echoing the self-immolation that spurred the demonstrations in Tunisia. Ravi Khanna, VOA News, Washington.